today I'd like to show one of my favorite submissions. So I got caught hopping to side control, like this. I need control of his quarter artery. If his head moves, there is contact. Like this, squeeze. If you have skills and self-confidence, you can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Vlad Kulikov, I welcome your Sila Partner channel, Ivan. Thank you very much for opportunity to share my experience. And today, I'd like to show one of my favorite submissions, strangles actually, Van Fluchok. It's called after the guy who made it popular. We'll look at it from three positions. Normally when you grapple, often in this position somebody collects my head to apply guillotine choke. And often if you rehearse the move, you can bait the guy. You can stick your neck out. Of course, you have to be a master of the move and confident in it too. Because you can get caught, it can backfire. But if you're skilled in this and confidence, you can do it. So, somebody grab my neck. The first thing I want to do, the first thing I want to do, I want to block this leg. And watch how I do it. Not on top of the knee. Because my hand can slip one way or worse yet to the inside. And I'll get caught in triangle. If he attack me from full guard. So I always put my hand on the inside of the knee and push it down. Everybody's strong in a linear plane like this, but not everybody's strong sideways this way. So I got caught, press the leg away, press the leg, I flat my partner out and simultaneously hop to side control, like such. And often, to block him from recovering guard, I apply knee movement this way. If I'm far, he can recover guard. And you lose the position. But if I hopped and, and blocked, he'll stay there. Then I need to control his carotid artery from that side. Contact of my bicep and his carotid artery. Often, you collect your hands together and there is a gap between the bicep and the neck. So I apply this move like I swim, and when the head moves, I know there is contact. And, and sometimes people stay in a position, you should be escaping it. It's impossible to finish without guard. So people don't know it, or, or know it, and what I do, I call it Stradivari, I squeeze my shoulder to my cheekbone, like this. So he does not pull his arm out, even before I collect my hands. Once I collect my hands, it's going to be almost impossible to pull out and I make it hard even before I put my hands together. Got caught, Stradivari, swim move like this, you see his head moved, no gap, flatten him out, collect my hands in a gable lock. And watch, the squeezing is in two planes. I squeeze with my bicep and I dig my shoulder under his jaw. Not on his jaw, because it just got uncomfortable. But on carotid artery, below the jaw. I hop to protect myself from guillotine, swim move, collect hands, flatten him out. Squeeze, drive his shoulder in. You want to be tight, chest to chest. When I learned this move from a video, I used to do it differently. I used to do like in a tripod position. And my rationale was that I apply body weight. But what happens, sometimes he can block my hips and stop my advancement forward. So it's kind of logical and at the same time not logical. So get flat so he doesn't block your body. Squeeze and tap. That's your, that's your one flu strangle. Good move. You can do it from standing guillotine defense. Two ways. 
first, as soon as I got caught, I grabbed this arm here. It's going to be impossible to break it. I just want, I just want to relieve some pressure from my neck. My second hand goes like a strap of a backpack. When you do guillotine, right? I try to hip in to lift my partner. And if his arm is not there, I kind of separate his spine and the neck, making like an L shape. You can see the breaking point. But if he grabs me like this, he lines up neck and spine in one line and he feels fairly comfortable. And nobody can hold you up forever. It's like up and down. This is the pattern. Squeeze, let go. So what do I do? As soon as he lifted me, he puts me down and I immediately cut the angle and block his far leg. Kind of like Pasatka. Not two legs, just a knee block. A little knee prop. And I sit him down. Often I step back with my left leg so I don't get rolled over immediately. And then go back to flat. And finish using the scheme I already showed. Next. Again, I got caught. As I try to chase him to block his knee, he rotates away, hiding that leg. So quickly I cut the angle in opposite direction, using my footwork. I go, I go, step, and cut the angle. Get the tricep, high crotch, lift into lateral revolution. And same position as before. There are different options too, of course. In my experience, those three are the best ones. One in, on the ground, one to, from standing. Subscribe, like, and share, guys.